Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is Fantastic here, and yes, this is a brand new video. Exciting, I know. Today's video is actually going to be on how to get the black spindle. As you can see, we have a 285, a 293, and a 292. I do recommend doing this uh, at at least 285. Um, that's probably the best way to do it, in my opinion. Other than that, um, you really don't need much. Uh, just a really solid team and from there just really good communication this isn't as hard as everyone makes it out to be um only way to do it properly is to have good communication and to know what to focus on and when so these are actually uh my clan mates slash co-workers uh book catcher steve is uh one of my co-workers in my department so is fortitude both uh, but catch your name is Jason and Fortitude is fast to my buddy journal. Miller. So, for this first section of, of uh, the mission, is just right, honestly, this is the, literally all you do. I will right. not unedit, I will not edit this video just because I feel like uh, it, it's pretty simple, but I can, it, I, it, it's one of those things that I feel, uh, if you just watch the video, it's pretty pretty simple, pretty self-explanatory. Uh, if you have problems, say like at one section you just die a lot um, just because someone messes up, you can maybe take my, the route I take. Um, I do, we do have every class. We have one Warlock, we have one uh, Titan, we only have one Hunter. I do have the Night Stalker um, subclass on. I think for the most part, uh, Jason, but Catcher Steve, who has uh, the Lightning for the Warlock, uh, and uh, Fortitude uh, Miller, he has uh, the Sunbreaker thing, I don't uh, think whatever the Titan, much fun at new parties. Titan thing is. So, uh, those, those, all three of those actually work really freaking well together, especially in this, uh, especially in, in just Taken and the King in general. They all work really well. Um, but, again, for this part, you don't really need to kill anything, you really don't need to do anything else. It's just one of those things you just keep running. You, you just keep going for it. Um, so if you do this mission normally, um, without doing it as a daily heroic, you won't be able to get the black sun. It's only on the daily heroic if you don't know that already. Um, but this, in my opinion, doing this mission solo is pretty difficult. Uh, if you don't know what to do, you don't know how to do it. And in my opinion, the ogre is the worst part. If you have two people, you can pretty you can melt them pretty fast. With three, as you're about to see, we're gonna literally destroy uh, the ogre. As soon as you get to that part, he comes up, and we just melt him. Like, we, we just melt him. shit. And I, I honestly thought we killed him at one point, but I know it's not possible to kill him, because I know it's in the story. Uh, but he's really close. Uh, usually about halfway or a quarter, or when he's like a quarter there, it's he, gone. uh, Oryx takes Oryx him. Just took but, an ogre. uh, <laughs> We didn't Not get the words enough time. Can control uh, for this part again, slightly just a waiting game. All you do is taken. just wait until. Uh, How quickly? I need a shard of that crystal. Iris or whatever her name is, um, just tells you to grab it. We've got it. You grab that, and then you wait. Wait by the invisible door done. when you think the mission is over. And does it still hold the whisper? Again, if you haven't, has, haven't done this mission yet, it's it's really a hard to do by analysis. yourself on a daily heroic. Uh, I wouldn't say it's really hard. It's it's pretty no difficult, uh, especially with all the taken. Um, and again, for this part, just like the beginning, you just you just run, you just keep running. And I know for for me, I I was the only person that knew exactly how to get this gun out of my group. No one's gotten this gun before. This is the first time doing it. Um, this is my first time trying it. I was doing a lot of research on like strategies and stuff like that, on how to do it. And uh, I felt like we did pretty well for our first try, especially it's pretty well for our first time. Like doing uh, a harder mission as a group and I think we did we didn't do too bad and again this isn't as hard as everyone said I was on reddit and I was looking through and everyone was like oh god it took me like three or four tries uh, I know I, it was like 20 tries it took me like three or four hours blah blah blah, blah. Um, as you can see from this video when you click on the link it, it took us under 20 minutes to do and uh, we did this in our first try. Again, this is an unedited clip. 
I, I'm not editing any of this besides just adding the voiceover of me commentating over it. Um, but other than that, it's it's not hard. It, it's not as hard as everyone makes it out to be if we have everyone at a, at a decent mic level. Like I said, uh, Jason is at 288 at this video, and I th think he was one of the ones like with my. Uh, he was he didn't die as much. As everyone thinks he is, Still no connection. he will. He this would. Be. A lot of people will say, "Oh, you need to be at 300. You need to be 300 light. You need to be at like 290." Uh, no, you just need to be fucking good at the game. And oh, we're we're pretty decent. We're not terrible, but we're pretty decent. Um, for this part, for the first door after you run, it's usually Take open. You just grab that. It's always in that one area. So you just run, grab it. I do recommend people shooting the knights. You don't have to kill really I anybody. You just shoot them to take less shots on uh, the key holder, almost. Uh, I guess you call it a key, I don't remember what Harris called it. Or the ghost called it. Um, again, you just keep running. The knights are probably the worst in this whole section, just because they, they uh, spit out that fire come shit. And it's a pain. Uh, this part, I do recommend both two people. Uh, two people, one going for the one going for the second key, the first person going for the first. Um, my teammates, Miller and him, uh, Jason, did not know where the first one was, um, apparently. So we just all went to the first one, I put the key in, and we never the second one. We did have a hiccup here. This is the only hiccup where we had. And apparently, I don't know if this is true, we did not have run into this problem. I did not test it. Um, but if you all wipe before you get to the door, the door will not open. So that's something to look out for um, the next time it comes up. This, again, this is not hard to do. I do love the taking game. They did update a lot of stuff. I die here because that thing is fucking huge. And I thought I was hiding, but he just kept going for me and he just wanted my body. It sucks. <laughs> um, and then this, this wizard is a pain in the ass too. Um, but it, it's, this is the only hiccup we had, where like two people died, stuff like that. And I feel like if we both got the door, we could have just taken out the knight or taken out the the wizard. Like to lose him. Um, but it's it, again wasn't that big of a deal. That's and again, most of the time you're literally running through this entire thing. Now, usually if you play through this story, whole story mission, you do have to open the third door that has three keys. You don't need to worry about this if you don't know how to do get the black spindle. Uh, again, talk about like everyone doesn't know. It's been two weeks, this mission's coming twice. Um, but you just pass through the door where you're supposed to open, and you come over here, and this is going to be where the... I can't remember the guy's name, uh, the, the original follower of the guy's name. Um, but this is where his strike comes in. And you just come up here. Uh, you don't do what I do, because I never know where I'm going half the time. But you come to this thing, if you remember the strike. Uh, it's the House of Wolves strike. It's pretty easy. I do recommend having the sword. The sword on this, I felt like it's super overrated. A lot of people didn't recommend using it. I thought it helped a ton. Uh, Miller Fortitude, he had the sword. Uh, he had the solar sword, and he put in work on the lights quite a bit. And then I used my machine gun, which was okay. I wish I would have used my uh, my rockets, uh, but I just hate having a rocket that doesn't hone in on an enemy. So I felt like it kind of hurt. But the first, first door, you can literally get the first section you can literally do in, in under a minute. Uh, focus on the blights, they do spawn enemies, and then from there, I recommend focusing on the knights, and then focusing on uh, a couple of guys. Uh, <laughs> as you can saw uh, just a bit ago, you saw me pull out my shotgun and try to shotgun the blight from so far away. I thought I had a sniper rifle, and I'm stupid. Uh, shotguns do help a lot, uh, but for me and how I play, I felt like I should have just used a, a sniper rifle. It would have helped in one of the other things. Um, but this part, we do have one person die, but that's just because we have two knights, and one person was focused on one knight, and it's just dangerous. Communication is key, so you just have to tell everyone what you're doing. Um, but again, we did this room in under a minute, and everyone was saying how this room can be done in about 45 seconds, and I, I can totally agree. Um, it can probably... And all, honestly, I think it could be done in about 30 seconds if you have a, a solid team and you have the right stuff. Um, this hallway, if both of you have, if two people have swords and one person just wants to stay in the middle and shoot, one person gets on one side, the other person gets on the other side, if you did not do this, I wish we would have, because this would have taken literally 10 seconds. Um, but we did this pretty fast. It was maybe like a couple seconds. 
this is the hardest part for us, um, just because we had a hiccup on a couple of things. This room, focus on the blights, and then from the blights, you have to focus on the wizard. If you focus on the wizard, take out the, the sniper guys. And again, for us, the only problem that we had is I did not have a sniper. None of us had a sniper. Everyone had shotguns, either swords or, or a rock or machine gun. And then uh, I use my viral rifle. I prefer pulse rifles and uh, pulse rifles and scout rifles or hand cannons. Anything that'll give you a really solid precision kill, um, just because it takes out the, the taken Cylon really quick if you're if you're uh, good enough. Uh, the wizards, you want to take those out uh, second to the blights just because they always spawn those little creepy thrall guys. Uh, shout out thralls. So, uh, take out the wizards just because they they spawn those like every 10 seconds or every 5 seconds or something like that. Um, another problem that we had for this too is uh, one person was focusing on each wizard and I felt like if two people focus on one wizard and then another two people focus on the other wizard, it, we would have gotten the wizards done faster. And again, if we had the sniper rifle, I would have been done in a minute as well. Every room, every section, uh, besides the hallway sections, I feel like should be done in under a minute. If they're done in under a minute, I feel like you can all you can get the Dravix at around um, what, 7, seven minutes, 7.30? 7 minutes 30 seconds. Uh, if, you, if you can do that really fast, then it, it's one of those things that it'll be pretty, pretty simple, uh, pretty, pretty fast, and then you can just not have to really worry about time too much. So with the Dravix area, or with, with the hallway leading up to the Dravix area, it's super easy. Again, if someone has a sword, pop and uh, you'll you'll be able to place in this area. So what I recommend for this room is something that we did not do: is one person staying in the middle. Uh, help with, uh, not, you know, say in the central area like this where I'm at right now. Uh, and then the other two people focus on the left side. That's something we did. So as you can see, what we did is one person just kept running around. Uh, as you can see, uh, fuck that's see doing, sorry. Um, and, but what I, what I feel like doing, what I felt like we did was really decently was focus on the uh, ads and lights really quickly at the beginning. And then from there, we, we focused on uh, Dravix. So, uh, this is another area where you need, you need to focus on the Blights. If you, if you don't kill the Blights as fast, as you can see, we left one Blight in the far back up really long and we spawn enemies. So, the Blights do spawn enemies, like I told you earlier. So, that's what you need to work on. You need to worry about the Blights. If you worry about the Blights, uh, if you don't worry about the Blights, enemies will just continuously spawn. So, as you can see here, uh, having a lot of the, having all three classes helps a ton. So, um, with the electric ability, they, that takes out ads pretty easily. I thought I almost died here, I'm surprised I didn't. So, with this area, kill the blights first, that is your main priority. Have one person, or have the two people who focus on ads, kill the blights and then the other person just focus on Javix. If you do that, one person can kill Dravix in, I think, in about three minutes. Um, but if everyone kills the Blights and everyone kills the Ads, and then everyone and then everyone works on the Dravix, you can kill them a lot faster. But uh, <laughs> as you can see, we just, it took us forever to kill that one Blight, and it hurt us a lot down the line. So another another thing with this with this mission, uh, or with this section in general, is. Uh, Spam your super. Use your super constantly. And again, I just felt like if I would have had my sniper rifle, it would have been a lot better. Um, I totally thought, again, reading what a lot of people were saying is using shotguns and stuff like that. That doesn't work with my playstyle. Um, know what works with your playstyle. If you have a really passive playstyle, uh, if you have a really like stay back uh, playstyle, do what helps. Like do what works for you. Uh, there's more. There's more than one way to scan a cat. So that's that's just how you have to look at it. Also, anytime anyone drops orbs, uh, so like all those orbs over there, pick those up. Uh, having your super as much as possible helps a ton. And again, with this section, having a rocket launcher or a sword helps a ton as well. 
Um, I've read a lot of people saying that they uh, what they did is two titans and pop, uh, pop two bubbles and then put some gerbics and kill them that way. That works. Uh, I just don't like worrying about like getting that close to gerbics and then like stomping on us and shit like that. Um, so yeah. And again, this is something that we did not really focus on, is the flight type. First of all, I didn't know a flight spawned right on me, so it spawned a ton of enemies. So that fucked me up right there. But as you can see here, a lot of us die in this section because the two bites spawn, they spawn a bunch of enemies, and then those enemies separate and shit like that, and it's just, ugh, it's a pain. So, um, with that being said, kill Blight. First priority, have two people focus on the blights, and again if I had the rocket launcher right here, I would have been able to kill a shit ton of enemies. I didn't. Always have a rocket launcher. Um, that was a clutch play, in all honesty. I clutched that so hard. Um, I think, who's Fortitude's up? Um, also, communication. Communication is, see, he, Fortitude, uh, Miller, he killed, um, the blight there and then revived us. Smart move because he knew that they were gonna spawn. Uh, if we would have killed enough blights, they would have spawned there and killed him. So with this section here, use the timer to your advantage. Granted, you don't have a lot of time, but use it to your advantage. Don't save someone unless if they have like a, a second or two left. Let them spawn. They can spawn and then you can just kill that you can just kill the ads. So just communication is uh, and again, like I said, I, I really <laughs> we just did so bad rewatching this video a couple times. We did so bad like not killing the fights, and that is the best way. Like th this, that would make the doing this mission so much fun. Killing the fights first, and then focusing on it. one person focusing on Drivix also helps a ton. So like right here, I should have just uh, went back in the room and then popped the heavy set. Uh, focus on the We did kill him at exactly the one minute mark, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, and then we just focus on uh, that. So from here, we also totally missed another. Uh, we missed another blight, which kind of hurt us. See, so yeah, we, we killed him at one one o five, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, it was one o five, and then all we had to do was kill the that. So from this section here we spawned everyone and then we just took everything out. Pulse rifles and uh, hand kit, anything with a, that can give you really precise kills really fast helps. Again, rocket launchers help a ton. Um, I think two rocket launchers kills uh, a lighter one, depending on the rocket launcher how it is. Um, but again, it just it, this mission it, no, see, like, we, we had some really clutch plays, uh, but it, it wasn't hard. We, we got it our first try in under 20 Taken minutes with 20 seconds to spare. Rest. And we got the black smell, and all of us were happy. And yes, I'm, I am content now. That is my favorite gun. It's the black spindle. It's like the black hammer. It just looks cooler and sounds better. Um, but it, it's not hard like everyone says it is. Just have a really solid team. At least we got 280. Um, and have solid communication. If you have a team with solid communication, you can't go wrong. Now that I showed you exactly how to do it, and again, completely unedited video, I hope you really enjoyed the video. If not, please leave uh, any type of suggestions in the comments. Uh, I really like doing videos. I'm going to do a lot more. Like I said, I do have some videos um, saved away that I just need to commentate or do something or edit over. So. Please like, subscribe. If you have any questions, comments, uh, please leave them in the comment section below or hit me up on Twitter. And I hope you enjoy the video.